Fellas, we're back at the Daytona International Speedway. We granted an interview with Josh Heron, one of the fastest guys on two wheels on the planet today. Josh, it's an honor to see you here today. Jeff came over, was talking to you earlier. Lap times are blazing fast. How's it going today? Yeah, it's good. I wouldn't say blazing fast. We still got some work to do, but but it's good. We you know we got a. It's the first time we're on this bike, uh, and it's it's kind of a weird situation just because with Arma, the differences in speeds. You're talking. 80, 90 mile an hour difference on the banking, so it's hard to get, you know, laps through laps. I think you lapped the whole field in a lap and a half, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you are definitely at, at another level. Good, I mean, you've won at the highest level here. You've won AMA championships, and uh, you won Daytona and Moza at 09? Uh, 2010. 2010. Yeah. And, and you were, like, how old are you, like 19? Uh, I think, yeah, 19, 20. He, he was the, the second youngest guy to ever win the Daytona, uh, the big race here. Uh, there was only one other guy in 1955 yeah, that had won. Yeah, so yeah, back in the real old school. Yeah, yeah. So how's the new bike working out for you? It's good. We just got you know growing pains. I think you know it's a fun bike. I I love the sound of a twin. I've never I've never raced one. It was fun. Never rode a Ducati uh, on the racetrack before, so it's all new experience. We got a bunch of really really top guys from Ducati Italy here, so it's an important test for us. And uh, I think the same with any new bike. You know, we're just trying things that doesn't work. Trying some things that do work. Trying to find a good, you know, base setting for me, and then these guys are trying to learn as much as they can about the bike. And, yeah, trying to have a good time at the same time. And, and you're only eight weeks till Moto America shows up here, right? And this will be the first time they've been here in a long, long time, if ever, right? Yeah, it's going to be a long time. It's been since uh, probably 2014. Wow, almost, almost 10 years. Actually, it was still when AMA was running. So Moto America, I don't think it's ever actually held an event here. I've been coming here every year for 31 years, and when AMA pulled out, it was like somebody shut the lights off. It's yeah. like none of the fast guys showed up. None of the factory teams were here. So we are so excited to have you guys back here. And uh, I'm sure you're going to have a, a, a leg up on everybody else getting, uh, getting your uh, bike dialed in now. You yeah, know? that's the plan. It's, uh, you know, I, I always enjoy riding here. And, and I wanted to try and you know, be a Russell or Dom and get a bunch of wins here. I got the one win in for the 200. I got the one win in the 200 and a bunch of seconds. And uh, yeah, we came back, in, came back in 2015 and it wasn't the same as when Amy was running. It's still cool, man. The well, there's no competition for you. They don't want no, there was. I mean, there was fast guys. You, know, you had an S and stuff like that. But, but it just wasn't the same deal. And that. Sure. You don't get that energy like you do in the top of it. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited that Ducati's here. I know they're excited to do it. I don't, I don't know if they've won a 200 before. Or if they have, it's been a long time. They got a good shot now with you. Yeah, it's uh, twisting the throttle. I'm excited about it. Bike's fast and fun to ride. You know, I'm not a... Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Jeff, you had, you had mentioned the lap times compared to like Scott Russell back yeah, in the like, day. Russell was doing two minutes, two hours. We're doing 50s. We're doing 50s. Oh, you are 50s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so would you contribute that to technology, rider skill, or a little bit of both? Oh, technology. Yeah, yeah. technology. Not just in the bikes, but tires. The tires change so much. Are you um, testing tires for Dunlop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought so, yeah. Yeah, we've gone through probably... Uh, I can hear the bikes in the background. It's some amazing loud bikes right now, but it's uh yeah we we've, we've been testing tires for Dunlop here for a long time. That's the only tire I've ever raced here, and we've yeah. probably gone through ten different sets of tires, different compounds, not just different sets, but different compounds, trying to find the right. Just right this weekend. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. They actually wow. they take the tire and Tony, can I show them that? Sure. I'll show them the numbers, but... <laughs> yeah, so they'll take the tire at the end of the session and they can cut it. You know, this is a piece of tire that I just got off the track with, so they can they can look at it. Look Probably at can't it. tell from the camera, but they'll see where the wear is on the banking. Not only that... scrubbing, yeah. Yeah, so they'll tell me, you know, hey, during the race, you need to try and move a little bit on the banking so you're not wearing one spot out. And uh, so it's pretty cool. It's not... Nothing special, but it's it's uh, it's neat knowing that they're that serious about it, taking it apart. You, you can stuff. count on your tires with that kind of yeah, yeah research of and effort being put in. Ten and different sets. You'll so, have yeah. the right set when the gate. We have a dyno, and I've been a dyno operator for 35 years. Are you allowed to tell us how much power that thing's putting down? I don't know if I'm allowed to, but I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, for a 600 that goes 200 miles an hour. Oh, it doesn't. No, not 200. We're going. Uh, I think top speeds are like one with no draft. They're like 170, 175. So it's, Definitely not 200, but it's but it's a fast bike. It so. usually takes 200 horsepower to go 200, so you, you yeah, must be in the 160, yeah. 170 uh, out of a 600. It's incredible. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure on the power, but it's, it's you know it's definitely a fast motorcycle for for the class that it's in, and, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's good bike to wheelie, good bike to slide. <laughs> we saw you wheeling at a turn three there. That was yeah. awesome. We're hoping to get some of that. Oh, you are you going out again? Yeah, we get the last race Sunday. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Nice. We'll be there for that. You were going by the people on the bank so fast, like 70 miles an hour faster. You're much scared the shit out of them. Yeah, it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to look that far ahead when you're tucked in. Yeah. And then there's the speed difference. But Somebody also, could get in your way uh, real quick. They yeah. also move a lot, some of these guys. Yesterday I passed a guy on the front straight going at least 80 miles an hour quicker and he was had one hand off and he's just sitting up. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> I know it's not a pro race, but you can't be racing taking your hands off. That was sketchy. But, but it's uh, it's a good time. All these guys are here to have fun. We're the only ones probably taking it as serious as we are, so i got to remember that. And not be too serious when I'm trying to pass the guys, trying to leave them some room. I try to, but there's also some guys that I recognize that I blitz. You know, I try to get it close to them, I pass them, just, just a mess of them. I know sometimes it's, it scares you in the moment, but it's a good story afterwards. Yeah. So that's oh, all it happened. must be a blast out there. We walked up on the bank, 33 degrees. You know, television yeah. doesn't show you how steep that thing is, but it's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. I took a rental car around one time, and if you don't carry enough speed, it's, you know, you have to carry a certain amount of speed or it starts falling. It's I like, believe it's 100. It's like yeah. spinning a bucket of water. You know, if you don't spin it fast enough, the water falls out. So it's kind of the same. Yeah. All right, man. Good talking yeah, to you. Thank you, guys thank you for your much. time. We really appreciate you granting the interview. Yeah. We'll right. see you at Daytona. Good luck. See you guys. God bless. How about that, guys? Not every day you get to talk to one of the fastest men on the planet on arguably probably the best 600cc bike ever made. Things really a work of art. And uh, it's uh, it's got a lot of power. He's wheeling it. Tell him about his wheelies at a turn three. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, he's just having fun out there, just walking it up and carrying it. It's unbelievable power. Out of a 600, V-twin. Just yeah. insane. So we're blessed to be here. Manic Mechanic, Christie's filming, and uh, we're having a blast. So stay tuned. we got some really good stuff planned coming for the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the like button. God bless America.